Sometimes sexy bosses in video games are warranted, like the psychosexual manifestations of Silent Hill or the ridiculously over-the-top dominatrix from Saints Row 4. Sometimes, however, they're just completely baffling. These are the ones with the most explaining to do. Oh, adorable. I do so love a hero wannabe. <sighs> Let's see if he stands up to the test or limps out at the end. <laughs> Come on, Andy, I hear you say, Dead Rising 3's bosses are based on the seven deadly sins. This woman is clearly the boss of the deadly sin of lust, and so all that stuff she's got going on is appropriate. Get in here, boys! Move, move, Let's move! Let's make uh, this a gangbang! Uh. Nope, in fact, this is Dead Rising 3's lust boss. <laughs> I know, subtle, right? Hilda's just a police officer, who is like this, for some reason. We don't find out if she was like this before the zombie outbreak, presumably not because she'd never be out of disciplinary hearings and sexual harassment tribunals otherwise, and that is definitely not standard uniform officer. That's not fair. I finished first. Oh. The alien queen from Duke Nukem Forever is next on the list of needlessly sexy bosses, but then everything in and about Duke Nukem Forever was needless up to and including the mammaries on this non-mammalian horror monster from space. Hell, I'd still hit it. That doesn't surprise me, Duke. Hey! Sweetie! You're not going anywhere until you answer our quiz question! He's such a sexy man! Just my type! I'm not that kind of guy! Clover Studios' otherwise excellent beat-em-up god hand features a boss fight against Mr. Gold and Mr. Silver, two almost nude carnival dancers who immediately hit on main character Gene, then attack by sliding towards him butt first. It's like Clover had the concept of gay people explained to them by a stand-up comedian from the 1970s, but weren't really paying attention because they were fast-forwarding through old episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race. Unfortunately, time's up, baby! Aww. Give up the little bitch, Dante. Once this dirty business is complete and Lucifer's way home is reopened, her part in this play will seem so small. You might remember Cleopatra, she was the last active pharaoh of ancient Egypt and a brilliant stateswoman. Only, according to Dante's Inferno, she now lives in hell with no top on and can fire monster babies out of her nipples. <laughs> pass a QTE and you can escape her horrible sexiness and unlock Lust Storm, a magic spell that creates a storm of pink lightning to protect Dante from harm. Presumably a protective vortex of dildos was shot down at the idea stage. If you go that route, we'll get tons of complaints from the gamers. Isn't this supposed to be an action game? Look, I don't know why David, a boss from Killer is Dead, decided his outfit should be most of a belt. Maybe if I run his official Japanese biography through Google Translate, it'll shed some light on what's going on. I dressed a bad taste in appropriate ruler, man king of affection, begin plotting to try to dominate the earth. Indecent smile features. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Do you like my outfit? Quite fitting for a ruler. You seriously plan to conquer the world wearing that? You look like a male model in a cheap underwear ad. Huh? Here's Echidna, the She-Viper from Devil May Cry 4. You may jest, but the kindest fate I offer is to unify and spend eternity with a child of mine! I imagine the design process for this boss went something like this. All right, I asked you to design me a new boss for the new Devil May Cry game. What have you got for me? So it's an egg-laying snake, but there's a woman inside it. Pretty sexy, huh? Yeah, we've spoken about this, Ron. You're fired. Well, that's us off the concept of sex forever. Who else would you put on the list? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more from outside Xbox. Size does matter, big boy. Who let her back in here? Someone call the police. Oh, right. Oh! <sighs>